வணக்கம் நண்பர்களே மீண்டும் ஒரு வீடியோவில் சந்திப்பதில் மகிழ்ச்சி ஸோ இன்னைக்கு கிளாஸில் வை ஹவ் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் பைண்டிங் எனர்ஜி பைண்டிங் எனர்ஜி ஸோ லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸில் கண்டினியூவேஷன் தான் அக்கார்டிங் டு த சிலபஸ் ஸோ லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸில் நியூக்ளியர் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டினா என்ன பார்த்தோம் ஸோ நியூக்ளியர் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டியில் நியூக்ளியர் சைஸ் நியூக்ளியர் வால்யூம் தென் சார்ஜ் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் தென் நியூக்ளியர் ஸ்பின் தென் பேரட்டி தென் சம் ஆஃப் த ப்ராப்ளம் விச் இஸ் ரிலேட்டட் டு த நியூக்ளியர் ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி வே ஹவ் டு டிஸ்கஸ் ஃப்ரம் த லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸஸ் ஓகே ஸோ அதை பார்க்காத நண்பர்கள் சேனல் பிளே லிஸ்ட்டில் இருக்குது அதை பார்த்துட்டு வந்துருங்க ஸோ அந்த கிளாஸோட கண்டினியூவேஷன் வி ஸ்டார்ட் ஃப்ரம் த பைண்டிங் எனர்ஜி அப்போ வாட் இஸ் த பைண்டிங் எனர்ஜி so then binding energy then some of the energy required or we have to separate the proton and neutron which is called as that binding energy okay if it form that some of the energy can be released that is called binding energy okay so then first point so then binding energy binding energy is the energy binding energy is the energy required to break the to break a nucleus into individual that is the important word individual proton and neutron okay so this is the uh, straight away direct question so the binding energy is the energy required to break a nucleus into individual proton and neutron so nucleus nale proton and neutron da irukum then we have to give some of the energy it should be a separated which is called as binding energy if it forms proton and neutron into a nucleus then some of the energy can be released okay ab point number 2 so it also it also the energy released energy released epo when a nucleus is formed from it nucleons nucleons na that should be a proton and neutron if proton and neutrons it formed we get some of the energy can be released so that is the binding energy okay so then formula so then binding energy formula can be write it as then mass of the proton plus mass number minus that should be a mass of the neutron minus mass of the nucleus into one atomic mass unit 931.5 mega electron volt so this is the most important formula we have to remember so then bar is it is the number of protons e endrade already we know that mass number then what is the mp and mn endrade mass of proton and neutron m nucleus endrade there should be a mass of nucleus in atomic mass unit so apo one atomic mass unit rade enade one atomic mass unit which is equal to this amount 9 31.5 mega electron volt per c square so this is the formula from that 
formula uh, observation what is meant by z a m p and m n so these are the most important we have to remember that okay so next day binding energy per nucleon binding energy per nucleon so for binding energy per nucleon can be defined as binding energy by mass number that should be a, a most important these are all the direct questions okay so the some some of the point from the graph some important points from the graph so the graph for you know so on the graph in the we have to give some of the important points for example that should be a ion 56 that should be a ferrous fe so as the highest binding energy this is the most repeated question highest binding energy highest binding energy per nucleon so approximately 8.8 .8 mega electron volt so this is the most stable so most most important narrative time repeated so which of the following is highest binding energy go through null option go to then we have to choose this one then which of the following is most stable go to we have to choose this one okay so we know that uh, that should be a then light nuclei here light nuclei one like dendron or dendrorium and heavy nuclei heavy nuclei like uranium have lower binding energy per nucleon so this is the most important point we have to remember from the graph so light nuclear na dendrorium then heavy nuclear na uranium these are all the lower binding energy nucleon okay good so then important point So then important point, if we may high binding energy per nucleon, that should be a stable nucleus. Then fusion na light nuclei. Then fission na heavy nuclei so these are all the most important point next one there should be a mass defect is equal to then del m that is difference between mass of nucleons and actual nucleus so these are all the important point we have to remember while setting the binding energy okay so binding energy now that should be then binding energy is required some of the energy to break the nucleus into individual proton and neutron so if it forms some of the energy can be released then we have to remember that formula then after that what is meant by a binding energy per nucleus then which one is the most stable then which one is the light nucleus and which one is the among the heaviest nucleus and some of the point we have to discuss about uh, binding energy okay i hope this video is helpful for those who are preparing the examination uh, if you have any doubt regarding this uh, presentation you have to comment your doubts in the comment section okay so don't forget to like this video and share this video to your friends who are all preparing the examination okay 
uh, then once more announcement um, we have to keep on uh, uh, posting the mcq in various app like then whatsapp then telegram then including then short like then youtube then you have to get the answer key from the uh, premium app we have to download from the google play store okay we meet in the next video thank you